Okay, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this week's Gospel Assembly. Good afternoon. So, um, if you're watching at home, you'll be surprised to hear some voices in the background, and they are our year uh, key stage two children who are key workers, and also we've welcomed back five children from year six today as part of our wider reopening. So, a very exciting day at Saints Gloucester because. Um, and really lovely to actually have some children in the school to share our assembly with. OK, we're going to start our assemblies the way we always do, um, by saying our school prayer. So if you join your hands together, um, we're going to say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for taking care of me. Listening to me at home, working with me at school, and sharing yourself with me at church. Help me to try my best in everything, especially in loving you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to show you some pictures now. Because uh, we're going to be thinking about the term trilogy. And that's the idea of three things grouped together into one. And there are a lot of wonderful trilogies. So I'm going to show you some pictures now and I want you to tell me what the trilogy is. Okay, ready? What's the trilogy? Shout it, shout it out if anyone knows. I can't hear, sorry. Can, can I guess, Mrs. Bailey? Go for it. Is it The Matrix? It's The Matrix. Well done, Mr. Zapata. Excellent. Um, hopefully some children would have got that at home. Okay, next one. Anyone recognise any of those characters there? Excellent. I hope some children got that at home as well. This, of course, is Star Wars, a very famous trilogy. Um, how about this one? Harry Potter. Not Harry Potter. <laughs> Back to the Excellent. Who was that? Back to the Future. Very good. Okay, one more. Who was the Hobbit? Say again. The Lord of the Rings. Well done, Lord of the Rings. Okay, thank you. So that's it now. That's all three of them. So this week at church, um, if you were at Mass, well, none of us were at Mass yesterday, but if you were able to listen to the Gospel, it was all about the most epic, epic trilogy of them all, and that is the... Anyone? God. God. Yeah. Who in particular, though? Think about the sign of the cross. What do you say? The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Well done. Excellent. So I've got a little uh, film to play all about the shamrock. So just have a listen to this. Once upon a time, across the Irish Sea, in the small island of Ireland, the land of saints, scholars and spuds, not to mention rainy floods. There lived a girl and her grandfather, who were friends you could say, as they had more in common than a cup of tea. One day, while they were walking home from school, the grandfather stopped for a moment. There, among the grass, he knelt down and plucked a shamrock which was growing beside a tree. What is this, dear grandfather? What does it mean? This is a shamrock leaf, and it helps us greatly with our belief. You see, this one shamrock is made up of three leaves. Our God is one, but he is also made up of three persons. One, two, and three, like three parts and three hearts. Here is the heart of the Father, the heart of the Son, and the heart of the Holy Spirit, three in one. Wow, that's mysterious. 
Why do you think God has three hearts? The little girl asked. To love us all the more, the grandfather broadcast. The little girl skipped home with a smile on her face, and whenever she saw something green in any place, she remembered the shamrock, and it reminded her of God and his triangle of love, and said God became three so he could fully know me. Okay, well done. Okay, so now we're going to move on ever so slightly, and I want you to think about Once upon a time, across the Irish Sea, in the small island of Ireland, the land of saints, scholars and spuds, not to mention rainy floods, there lived a girl and her grandfather, who were friends, you could say, as they had more in common than a cup of tea. One day, while they were walking home from school, the grandfather stopped for a moment. There, among the grass, he knelt down and plucked a shamrock which was growing beside a tree. What is this, dear grandfather? What does it mean? This is a shamrock leaf, and it helps us greatly with our belief. You see, this one shamrock is made up of three leaves. Our God is one, but he is also made up of three persons. One, two, and three, like three parts and three hearts. Here is the heart of the Father, the heart of the Son, and the heart of the Holy Spirit, three in one. Wow, that's mysterious. Why do you think God has three hearts? The little girl asked. To love us all the more, the grandfather broadcast. The little girl skipped home with a smile on her face, and whenever she saw something green in any place, she remembered the shamrock, and it reminded her of God and his triangle of love, and said God became three so he could fully know me. Um, what we were um, just listening to. So the first question I'm going to ask you is, what was the name of the green leaf that the little girl found? Shamrock. Shamrock, excellent. What do the three hearts of the shamrock represent? Brilliant listening. Last one. The granddad told the girl why God was made up of three persons. What did he say? Oh, sorry, could a, te could a teacher just repeat that? I couldn't quite hear. Yes, possibly. But is that what the granddad said? Yeah, well, it was something along the lines of, granddad said, to love us all the more. And later the, good, uh, the little girl said, so God could know me fully. Okay, so... Um, think about the uh, Trinity. I want us to think back to what we were the, the pictures that we looked at in the beginning. And in the Lord of the Rings Trinity, we find Sam and Frodo. They leave their comfortable homes in the Shire and they go on an epic journey to the Mount Doom uh, to get to Mount Doom, where they must destroy the Ring of Power. And on the way, they overcome many obstacles and foes. And when they finally reach Mount Doom in the third book and film. Now, imagine if the third book or the third film hadn't been made, it never been produced. Frodo would never have been able to destroy the ring and the story would be incomplete. So to put it another way, um, if you imagine a triangle, which of course has three sides, if you took one of the sides away, it wouldn't be a triangle any longer. And with the shamrock in the film, if you took away one of the leaves, it wouldn't be um, a three-leaf clover anymore. In the same way with God, by his very nature, God is three, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In the Gospel this week, Jesus said, God, loves so, God loved the world so much he sent his only Son. In the Gospel last week, Jesus said, As God is my Father sent me, so I am sending you the Holy Spirit. Look at the way these arrows, um, look at these arrows, imagine that they are carrying love between the persons of the Trinity. 
we can see that God the Father loves Jesus, Jesus loves the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit loves God the Father. The Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is a community of love. They love one another and they love us very much. We were made in the image of God, which means we were created to love God and love one another. And that's really important to think about now. If we think about what's happening in the world and we know that there have been some really unfortunate incidences involving racism, particularly a man called George Floyd. And it's worth remembering that God created us in his own image. We are unique. We are all special. We should all be treated equally. And God reminds us that we are to love one another as he has loved us. So perhaps if you go out for a walk today or if you're out and about, have a look for a three leaf clover and it will remind yourself that God is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit love each other and love us too. We are made in his image to love God and to love people around us. OK, you've listened beautifully. Thank you. So I'm just going to finish now by saying a short prayer. So I want you to join your hands together. Bow your heads and listen as I read. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together today. Currently in the world, there is a lot happening. We have our pandemic, which means our school life has changed. And the recent events in America and across the world remind us there is much to do if we are to follow your example of loving each other as you love us. Remind us that we have the Holy Spirit as our guider and our help. And encourage us to be more like you in the things that we do and the words that we say. And we ask you to look over our school community now, wherever we are, and remind us that we are one family, we belong together, and soon all of this will pass and we'll be back together soon. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.